about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking hey hey welcome back if you're new here i'm kristen my husband is ryan and we have 10 kids Today we are getting ready to go on a little RV trip to Jellystone, North Texas Jellystone in Burleson near Dallas. And the last time we went on an RV trip and moved our RV, crazy to me, is one year ago we went to same Jellystone with the same friends. And then when we got back, we parked our RV on our land and it was our first time living on our land. That was when we moved out of the RV park that we purchased. So we have not traveled in the RV in a whole year. If you didn't know, we traveled full-time in our RV for a couple years and lived life on the road and that was a ton of fun. We absolutely loved it. So the kids are giddy and crazy and spastic this morning. They're all morning. The little kids are like, I'm bored. It's so hard to wait for a trip. And I'm like, I know, we've got to get ready though. So we've been loading clothes and food and all that into the RV. That's a little harder. It's so nice when you live in it. I know that sounds crazy, but you really have your house with you everywhere you go. So you've got your groceries and your toolkit and your scissors and your extra baggies, plastic baggies and you know, just all the random things that you use on a regular basis that you don't think of, you've got it. So we were been putting all that in here the last couple days. Um, it is supposed to be pretty bad weather, possible hell and tornadoes in Burleson tonight. So I'm not thrilled about that. Or at least it's early evening that it's supposed to be real bad and just raining during the night. So at least we can take shelter in buildings if we need to. They do have big, huge buildings there uh that seemed good for taking cover and anyway so it will probably rain off and on it's a great outdoor park but they at least have indoor activities to do too if it's raining a lot and i'm sure we'll make the most of it and have a blast either way we are meeting friends who we met while traveling we met them in south dakota but they are from the lubbock area in texas and we're from Texas, so we have met up several times and really enjoy hanging out with them. So we will take you along for some of our trip here. I am walking around making sure the RV is travel ready. Got like door latches, things like that, just to make it where your stuff isn't flying everywhere when you travel. So that is what I'm doing. Just getting everything ready to go here to put the slides in. A little nerve wracking always putting in slides and putting up jacks and hooking up when you haven't done it, especially for a whole year longest since we've owned an RV that we've had just our RV sitting here. This right here is your best friend, super important. If you do not screw this on the refrigerator, Oh my goodness, and I can tell you, I forgot one time and I remembered into the drive that I forgot and we stopped and we had milk and stuff everywhere. It had all flown out of the fridge. So I left this out last night to make sure I remembered this. Okay, looks like the girls room is ready for the slide to come in and shower door is locked in place there this door is locked Ryan had to fix those screws on that this morning okie dokes I think we are ready for the slides to come in here Got all our stuff off our shelves on the sofa. So I think we are good to go. All right, I got Manning watching the slide for me. Remember that well break, so that's what I want you to let me know. I don't know which slide I'm doing, I want to find out as it starts to come. They haven't come in a while. Oh, this must be the fridge. Okay, I can go ahead and put them in the fridge, I think. Alright, slide one in. 
Okay, I'm gonna assume slide two, I don't wanna do yet. Okay. That bed's coming in. So far so good. Okay, we've had a well break off that bed a couple times, probably because we had too much heavy stuff, but since we're not living in it, it shouldn't be as bad. Good. Okay, to flip off that light for me and then shut that door. Okay, thanks. All right, now we're gonna do my bedroom. It doesn't matter how many times you travel in an RV, it's always nerve wracking to put the slides in, in my opinion. And out, but especially in. Okay, good to go on that one. All right, go get what else you need. Manning running in with his last minute stuff. He is the last to get packed. He is the top one to want to go on this trip. And this guy turns, well, I don't know. We all want to go on the trip pretty bad, but he loves this trip. I always go for my birthday, so. Yes, Manning turns 17 on Monday, which is pretty awesome. And Liberty turns 13 on um uh, next saturday so this trip is kind of for them okay last slide wish me well seems okay so far okay now if we can hook up and have no problems with the jacks that would be excellent this rv does have jack issues we hate the jack system it's equalizer i think we like lp we've had it's our fourth rv i think and her third i can't even remember at this point but lp is or lippert is like substantially better than equalizer so hoping this goes okay Here's what it looks like all closed in. People who don't RV find that interesting. It is windy. Not the best travel day. Ryan is getting the stairs put up there. I'm not sure why I curled my hair because that's a goner at this point, but that's all right. <laughs> the stairs in. Those are heavy, man. Okay, y'all, I'm praying we have power to these jacks. We have not done this in a year, and very first trip we didn't have power to the jacks, so. Uh, and we had to switch out the control panel. But we do know how to do it with a drill if we need to, but I'd rather not today. Keto key, please light up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Doug. Not as good as I used to be. We haven't done this a lot, so you gotta get close before I can decide whether to go. I think I need to go down, but I need to get close. Yeah, definitely need to go down. Get closer for me, and I'll see where you're at. Put this RV down and it'd be right on the money with him three feet away. That was crazy. We had done it so many times. But we are out of practice. Keep it coming. Yep. all 
not any problemas. Okay, I don't think the all retract works, but we'll see. I guess it does today. So. That's right. Yeah, it retracts the back ones, but not the front. So out there. Oh yeah, don't forget our electric, babe. That would be bad. Let's see. Oh, we got rock fest on these jacks. Okay, but we are up. Looks like. Hooked up and ready to roll. All right. Traveling lunch of champions here. Beat stick. Hey, are y'all excited about this trip? Yeah! I think they're fighting over the front seat. No, we're not. Oh, goodness. Batman, here, Batman, Batman, fly away. Teen boys, don't remember the first scene. Batman, Batman, fly away. Treasure, are you excited about this trip? Mercy, excited about this trip? Um, y'all need to brush your hair. Treasure especially. Are y'all excited about this trip? Yeah. T, I see you're playing. Those have a weird name. The Glockenspill. Is it a Glockenspill? Wait, wait, let me just do it's Mercy's, but I just saw it and I was bored. Yeah, that's awesome. Looks yeah. fun. Okay, well, we're gonna roll soon. Bravely's making her bed. Hey, Bravely, are you excited about this trip? Oh, yeah, girl. It's gonna be awesome, right? Okay, we are getting ready to roll out and we're gonna pull an old school like we did every single time we traveled. God, thank you that we get to go to Jellystone. I pray that you give us a safe trip there and uh, help everyone have a fun, safe weekend. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, are y'all ready for my saying? Yeah. Rolling by the dozen, peeps. Rolling by the dozen once again. <laughs> they love it when I say that. We, I said that every single travel day when we're traveling. It's just... Brings back the memories, doesn't it? Yes, it does. All right. All right. Love, love you. you. Rolling. <laughs>
this is nice and spacious. Right, really nice and spacious. All right, you might want to come this way more. If you need to come back a bit and then scooch up to straighten out, you always can. Okay. See, so what are you doing now? Are you straightening now? Okay. Yeah, you're straight now as far as the RV. Whoa, 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 stop, stop, stop. You almost hit the water spigot or something. Unhugged. The frustrating part about this leveling system, which is one of the reasons we don't like it, is that the auto level has never worked and it's so easy to just do auto level. So we have Ryan literally gets in there with a level and we talk on the phone and I operate the jacks and we have to get a level. So we're about to go through all that and we'll put our slides out and such. Okay, last slide going out and we got it level. So good. Yeah, easiest teardown setup in travel day. Which I really wasn't sure what to expect, were you? No. <laughs> not after, not tra we no. haven't traveled for a year. We came here one year ago. Yeah, right? after all the bouncing I did getting over here, I was really concerned. Oh yeah, but oh yeah, I was trying to turn on the AC. I forgot, you gotta plug yeah, it in. I gotta plug it in. Everything seems good. Yeah, thank goodness, okay. Yeah, y'all can do the rug now. They just chilling in our, this is a really nice park and nice picnic area, isn't it? We got the best spot right across the street from swings and the, what's that called? The petting zoo for little ones. Okay, home sweet home for a few days, all set up. If you haven't seen our RV before, it's pretty cool. This loft is huge. Looks in, but the five little ones sleep up there. And this is the big girl's room, which I saw this morning. Which I guess she'll get all straightened out. Okay, and then I'll show you our bedroom. Okay, Jibs, you can come in and potty now. Mine and Ryan's bedroom restroom and there's a second restroom down by the older girls room the boys sleep in the living room and got a nice big closet and ours and we still have our washer and dryer should we need it which is a real possibility with our family size so Wow, how do you like being back in your loft, girls? It's really cool. Yeah. Mom, we can see the petting zoo. That's so everything. cool. You can yeah. see animals over there? Yeah. Oh, look, and that's the teepees. So show me, Juby, that you can sit up in there. I want everybody to see how tall this loft is. Jubilee is 11 years old, and she can sit perfectly fine in there. So pretty awesome. It's spacious, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Windows, how many minutes? Yeah, yeah so that we can see in every direction. They even the had some bed. toys up here that they'd left in here, so they're excited. And that cute stuff. I love, I love this. this stuff. Oh, yeah, that's if it gets cold in here. Yeah, we bought the Odo. Oh, that's good. Wow, that looks awesome, girls. It's fun to be on a trip again, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Let me see y'all's pillows. Didn't I get you all those for Christmas one year? Yeah, those are cute. Mine's the cutest. So cute. I know why I gave you that one. Because you love yellow. Yeah. I know why you gave me this one. Very good reason. Why? Because it's my favorite animal. Because you're like a monkey. I know. And because it's my favorite animal. Yeah. I picked what I thought you all would like, but... I love mine. I, I love, love mine. mine. I, I love, love mine. mine. You happy to be here, son? Yep. Uh, if we travel next summer, I'm telling Rhythm, I'm going to get you some kind of 
floor mattress or something so you don't have to share a sofa. They, yeah, they used to polygram, we're probably gonna be like way in each other's space now. Yeah, they're gonna be in each other's space for this weekend. They used to, when we first got that sofa, their feet were just shy of touching each other and then they slowly started crossing over. So, yep. It's fun to be in the RV. How's precious? You have her on a leash out there? So. Yeah. Oh, it's back on. That's rhythm for you. Already washing cups. He's just rinsing it out. He's just, you know, that's how he is. Always on the go, getting things done. So, 17 years old. How's it feel to be turning 17? Same as it felt to turning every other age. Not for your mama. 17 seems old for me. Yeah. Seems closer to you being a grown man and out of the house. Okay. Just a little sad, but I'm happy for you. <laughs> hey, getting me. Oh, jelly stone. <laughs> you your wife. Oh, you ran out of room. Yeah, you ran out of room a little there. Okay, got your room all set up. Cute. Wow, this mattress was squishy. It's really comfortable. It's, it's comfortable? Yeah. Y'all, I'm happy to be in here with these pictures. I just love this. Some yeah. other pictures still. Yeah. They're fun to see. Here's the bathroom back here. It's even got another shower and everything, which is nice. The girls' clothes. Each girl has two drawers to put their clothes in. And those two cabinets and those and the sofa i will show you this is precious as pin she came with us we have neighbors watching the cats but um this is an awesome sofa we got storage so the boys bedding and clothes are in there so yeah i see yogi the statue over there it's a pretty nice day, huh? Pretty nice day out. It's a little hot, but it's starting to cool off. And it's supposed to pour down rain, so we're enjoying the great outdoors while we can. And eating a little snack there. I was starving, y'all. Okay, well, the big kids already met up with our friends and took off which is kind of how it is when you got teenagers. And so they'll check in and we'll see them around. And so we've got the little ones with us. They want to go jump on the blob, which I think the big kids are actually over there. So we'll probably see them over there. And we've got Precious with us, all because I felt sorry for Cutting Handle, keeping her in her little kennel in the RV. She was barking so much. I said, let's bring her. Brave, how's it going? Good. Are you excited? Bravely got to see her buddy, Colson. They gave each other a hug and a high five and fist bump.